Hey guys, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five in-hand manipulation exercises to improve your finger dexterity and fine motor coordination. So what is in-hand manipulation? Well, in-hand manipulation is the ability to move a small object around in one hand without using your other hand to help. Basically, your fingers and thumb of that one hand move the object around so you can be able to achieve whatever activity it is that you're trying to do, from picking up a pencil and writing to using a fork or a spoon to be able to eat. So these in-hand manipulation exercises are a great place to start so you can improve that dexterity and coordination of your fingers. And in this video, you will need a few small objects to get started. You're gonna need a pencil or a pen, a ball, or you could use a sponge if you have a, a kitchen sponge, rubber bands, and some loose change, or maybe something small like beans or marbles will also work. Okay, in hand manipulation exercise number one. This is more of a warm up exercise before we go into using these smaller type of objects. So this one is called finger tip to thumb and we're gonna go through each finger. So you can go ahead and get yourself comfortable by resting your elbow on a table or maybe on a pillow, whatever's comfortable for you. So we're gonna start with the index finger and we're gonna touch the index finger to the tip of the thumb. And what we're trying to do though is make a circle instead of just going like this. We wanna make sure we keep this nice web space and get the finger and the thumb nice and warmed up. So we're gonna go ahead and go 10 times to the thumb and index finger. And notice I'm opening up my fingers and my thumb after each one because we wanna go through that full range of motion. Good, now we're gonna go to the middle finger and tip of middle finger and thumb and open. And you can do this on both sides at the same time. Good, now we're gonna go to ring finger. Again, making a nice circle as much as you can. Getting those fingers and that thumb nice and warmed up. Good, now small finger and touch. Now if you can't make it all the way across to your small finger, that's okay. You just do what you can. So if this is as far as you can get to touching the small finger, then that's what your exercise looks like for you. It would look like that and that's okay. But if you can touch, go ahead and try to make a nice circle again with that small finger and that thumb. Perfect, and relax. In-hand manipulation, exercise number two. This one you're gonna need a ball or a foam block. You could use both for this, depending on what type of challenge that you're looking for, but also what type of abilities that you have right now. For this, I'm gonna do a little bit of both just to show you. What you're doing is you're taking that ball or that sponge and you are trying to complete different types of rotations of that object that's in your hand. Depending on your abilities, you might only be able to do very simple type of rotations where you are just taking that block or that ball and just doing small types of rotations like this. You can try to rotate it this way and then you can try to rotate it in the opposite direction. Now, if that's a little easier for you, you can add a little bit of complexity to that by doing more complex rotations, which would look more like this, where you're taking that block, you're taking that sponge, and you're rotating it around in a bunch of different ways. And you're using all the fingers to do this. And notice when I'm doing this in hand manipulation, I am not moving my arm, I'm not rotating so I don't drop this. I am keeping my elbow and my wrist nice and straight and I'm really just letting my fingers and my thumb do the work. 
Now, if you don't have a block, you can use a ball. I have a yoga tune-up ball here. And so what I can do is make sure that I'm rotating in a very more simple rotation to make sure that I'm touching the yoga tune-up label with my thumb and with my fingers. And you can also go in the opposite direction. Now again, if you are looking for more of a complex type of rotation, then you would want to just move that ball all around, making sure all the fingers are touching the label or the pattern that you might have on the ball that you have. If you don't have a pattern, you can take a marker and just maybe put a couple of dots on the ball and touch each finger to the dots on the ball. And you would do this in hand manipulation exercise a couple of different ways. You can either set yourself a timer for one to two minutes, or you can perhaps just count rotations of 10 to 20 repetitions. In hand manipulation exercise number three, this one you're gonna use a pen, a pencil, maybe a, a marker. And this one's gonna use an in hand manipulation movement type called a shift but we're also gonna add some rotations in there with it. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pick up that pencil and then you're gonna work on shifting it to the position to write with it. And you wanna make sure then you're using your fingers to just scoot those fingers down to the bottom of the pencil as if you're going to use it to write. And then what you wanna do is we're gonna actually do some rotations then with that. And same thing, then we're going to scoot our fingers down to the end and we're going to rotate again. So we're gonna just take this pencil, this pen, and just do a couple of rotations. And then what you can do is then manipulate that in your hand and set that back down and pick that up again. And then what you wanna do, rotate it, shift those fingers down to the right position and let's do a couple of rotations and do that a couple of times. And you can do this as many times as you feel that you need to. And then you can even do a couple of rotations with the pencil, rotating it around in your hand. And of course you can add all kinds of complexity to this type of in-hand activity. It really depends on how much dexterity and finger coordination that you have. You can count for you know, 10 to 20 repetitions of each rotation, or you can just set yourself a timer for one to two minutes for that exercise. Okay, in-hand manipulation exercise number four. Go ahead and grab that pencil again or that pen and grab yourself a rubber band or two or three. Whatever hand you're trying to work on the in-hand coordination, that's the hand that is going to be using the rubber bands. Your other hand can just hold the pencil still. And what you wanna do is pick up the rubber band and then you're going to work on rotating that rubber band and using the fingers and the thumb to work on putting that rubber band around the pencil as many times as you can. And you actually can do this a couple of times and you can work on some finger strengthening with thicker rubber bands too. And then you can work on removing the rubber bands. And as you can see, that really requires a lot of finger and thumb manipulation to do that. You can add all kinds of challenges to this activity. Of course, you can add many more rubber bands. You can use the rubber band and place the rubber bands on different sizes of objects in your hand to add a little more challenge to that exercise. And finally, in-hand manipulation exercise number five. For this one, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself some loose change, maybe some coins, marbles, you can even use some dried beans for this activity as well. Obviously, the smaller the objects, the harder this is going to be for you. So you might wanna start with something that's a little bit bigger, like you know marbles or maybe quarters, and then work to something smaller like beans. But use what you have. Whatever it is that you're using, go ahead and place that out on a table. Get like a handful of that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a tip pinch to pick up one object at a time. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place that in your palm and try to keep that in your palm without letting it fall out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up another one of those coins or beans. And again, you're gonna transfer it into your palm. 
And again, you're gonna pick up and transfer into your palm. And as you can see, you can, you can keep going with this. Try to tuck as many small objects as you can, because the more you have in there, the harder it can be. And I usually tell people to keep track. You know, if, if this is very hard for you to do in the beginning, go ahead and keep track with how many coins, maybe it's only five or six, but over time of practicing, you may notice that you're able to get seven, eight, nine, and that's a good way for you to keep track that you are improving with this exercise. Good. Now, once you have a pretty full hand and you don't feel like you can hold any more, now to add a little bit of a challenge to this exercise, you're going to then try to retrieve one object at a time. And in my case, I'm gonna to try to retrieve one coin at a time without dropping. And that's very, very challenging to do. If you really wanna add a challenge, then you would try to stack them. So as you can see, there's many, many different ways to try to challenge yourself with this activity. Now you wanna make sure that after you place the coins down, that you're not cheating after each one by rotating your hand up and kind of shifting them and moving them around. That kind of makes it a little bit easier for you, right? If that's the only way you can start to do this activity, go ahead and do that. But again, I encourage you over time of getting that dexterity and that fine motor coordination improved to try to challenge yourself by just keeping your hand in one position and not trying to rotate your hand. And one more. Good. Perfect. And you can complete this activity by maybe setting yourself a timer or just complete a handful of coins or, or marbles or whatever it is that you are working with. Now, I hope you found these five in-hand manipulation exercises helpful. If you did, share this video with some friends and family members that maybe are looking for ways to improve their hand and finger, fine motor coordination and dexterity. And don't forget to hit that like button and also that subscribe button below. And check out these videos here that YouTube is suggesting for you. Thanks for watching.